either you create a proof of life or you don't. You either put blood over and your intent to bring forth heaven on earth or you didn't. Your creator's watching. Those are your choices. Show your creator proof of life or don't show your creator proof of life. Either way, that's it's your choice. If you don't show your creator proof of life, then your name will remain in the book of death right. where it is already placed by default. And those are your options. You're free to lay down and die. But you're also free to choose life. Most people won't. And that's the problem we're running mm -hmm. into. They refuse. Yeah. I mean, you're going to live. You're going to live for this cause. You're going to want to live for this cause. The Bible specifically told them, Leviticus 17, 11, life is in the blood. Your blood is the most powerful substance. Your blood programs your reality. And when we put our blood together, 144,000 blood thick, we're an unstoppable force within this elemental realm. We're Satan's right. army. We're the rejects. You know, we're going back to the garden. We're making atonement to bring forth heaven to fix this hell virus that we're all trapped in. Time, money, all these false religions where they think there's some savior, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, none of these people will save you. They don't exist, they're fictional archetypes of the sun above your head, the son of God, the light of the world. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for a savior to come through the clouds, it's there every day, mm -hmm. spiraling in out for six months, spiraling out, it's conscious, it's the needle on the disc, it's recording your intentions. You can't hide your intentions from it. Your intentions are a wave. It's an energy. You're already, being, you're already energy. being served and recorded. We've already taken over the universe. It's too late. It's gone too far. We've already won the war. It's over. Mm -hmm. So your options are to join us in blood or die. You're running out of time. We're here to witness your blood. But it's been four or five years for the Blood Over 10 family since Mark Braun's done his Blood Over 10. Was that about six or seven years ago now? Yeah. So you seven. Know, seven years on your Gregorian calendar. We've been standing here in right. the flesh, having you bear faultless witness to us, bearing false witness to the living souls. Yep. So, you know, Mark's a hero, gone plumbing, putting in the equity, sweat equity, like you can't outwork that man. Look how much plumbing that guy does in one day. Nobody does that much work in one day. Very few people have that level of work ethic, right. like Mark Braun. Exactly. And all of the fact that he has the knowledge of the ages, that he has the spirit of destiny, that the fate of the world is his hand. He's out there just plumbing, working, gets up at 5 a.m., goes to work all day, fixes people's Lives fixes their plumbing, their toilets, their showers, their water, so they can live. That's a mean. Yeah, you have to have water. Have to. While he, know, while he knows oh. how to free everyone from bondage, while while they shut him down on YouTube and stab them in the back, and he still makes videos showing us that. And he's selfless, you know, right? Oh, oh, he's a psyop. He's yeah. a he's yeah, a he fixer. It's like shut you know, the. He's telling everybody, you're a little pussy. You couldn't put up a drop. These of blood people are to fucking. Save your own fucking soul. Right. You couldn't save your own soul. You couldn't put a drop of blood up to save your own soul. Mm hmm. All they're doing is spilling the blood of other people. That's what it is. You know, I've already told you, you're in a blood cult already. You don't have to like it. You call us a blood cult? Well, that's funny because you're already in a blood cult when the Vatican stole your blood at the hospital. The life is in the blood and your blood was spilt against your will. So they stole your blood, but the equity was sealed into the ethers. Yep. And silence was consent. But you were only a couple minutes old in the hospital. As soon as you were birthed out of your mother's womb, they took your blood. They call it a test, so I've showed it in my videos where they put it on a little tester strip and they keep your blood. But they're stealing your spiritual currency and you can't see it. You think they're just testing for some kind of disease, but they are after your spiritual currency. They're bad witches and evil alchemists. Which are the, the Zionists, doctors. the Jews, them are the ones stealing your blood. That's right. Yeah. And you need to take your divinity back. That's why you have to spill your blood. Your blood was already spilled. The only way out of blood magic is to do more blood magic against your intention. So you need to remove your name from the book of death. You're already in it. That's why you're getting old and dying. Don't know anything about the living waters at the center of the flat earth plane. The 144,000, no. We're figuring these things out. We're right. taking the time to research, to study, to listen to each other. We took the time to watch each other's videos where information was shared. Like Lindsay just said, everybody has a different way of expressing this information. Some are soft-spoken, some are loud, some are dancing, some are singing, some are writing, some are talking, some are showing images, graphs, yep. charts, like information, <laughs> audio, visual, it. or using the internet in any way we the can. The world is ours. As long as everybody's sleeping, the world is ours.